think a little differently. Don't think by convention all the time. And it's easy going the road made by others. You know, you make your own road. And that's what uh, I think I call it as innovation. I think innovation is doing things a little different from others. Sanduk Rit was born on September 4, 1954 to rural illiterate parents in the remote mountainous village along Chungola in Taplezung district of northeast Nepal. His village was a tiny cluster of 200 people located 11,000 feet above the sea level on the lap of world's third highest mountain peak, Mount Kanchanjunga. It is one of the remotest regions of Nepal with no electricity, no school, no health facility or modern means of communication and lies blanketed under the snow for 6 to 9 months a year. Ruiz's family made a subsistence living from small agriculture, petty trading and livestock farming. Ruiz was the second of his parents' four children, but he lost his three siblings, elder brother to diarrhea at the age of three and younger sister Chandak to fever at the age of eight. In many interviews, Ruiz has mentioned that for him, the most painful was his younger sister Yangla's death. Yangla was his childhood companion and he was to develop a special bond with her over the years. But she tragically died at the young age of 15 due to tuberculosis as the family was too poor to afford the best treatment available which could have saved her life. Ruth has said that this loss made a strong mark on him and instilled in him a resolve to become a doctor and work for the poor who would not otherwise have access to health care. The nearest school from his village was 11 days walk away in Darjeeling. His father, a small-time businessman, placed a priority on providing education to his children and sent Ruit to St. Robert's School in Darjeeling and provided financial support for his early medical career in 1969 and Ruit graduated from Siddhartha Banasthali School in Kathmandu, Nepal and later was further educated in India. He studied MBBS from King's George Medical College Lucknow from 1972 to 1976, further studies from 1981 at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Delhi. He also studied in the Netherlands, Australia and the United States and was mentored by an Australian ophthalmologist, Professor Fred Hollows. In 1994, Ruit and the Fred Hollows Foundation founded the Tilganga Eye Center now called the Tilganga Institute of Ophthalmology in Kathmandu. Tilganga has performed over 90,000 operations and trained over 500 medical personnel from around the world and produces rich intracolor lenses at a cost of less than US $5 each. It also produces prosthetic eyes for $3 US compared to import that cost $150. For those unable to reach the center or who lives in otherwise isolated rural areas, Ruit and his team set up mobile eye camps, often using tents, classrooms and even animal stables as makeshift operating rooms. After treating a North Korean diplomat in Kathmandu, Ruit persuaded North Korean authorities to let him visit in 2006. There he conducted surgery on 1000 patients and trained many local surgeons. However, many of the citizens attributed the restoration of their sight to the current supreme leader of North Korea and at the time Kim Jong-il. Ruth credits his wife, an ophthalmic nurse he married in 1987, as being a pillar of strength to him in his difficult days while pursuing Tilganga. Ruth was awarded the prestigious Raymond Magasese Award for Peace and International Understanding. In 2018, the government of India awarded him the Padma Sri Award, his fourth highest civilian award. His biography, The Barefoot Sarjan, authored by an Australian writer, Ali Gripper, was published in June 2018. This biography's Nepali translation version, Santo Grit, is set to release on September 2019. If you watched the video till the end, then please don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button to support me. I'll keep uploading videos like this. Bye bye and stay safe.